W A two India Victor Delta. Hi everyone. Welcome to the IC seven oh five from A to Z number three. One really nice feature of the 705 is the built-in Bluetooth interface. This time we're going to look at the settings to pair a standard Bluetooth headset as your microphone and for receive audio. I'll be demonstrating this with my Blue Parrot C400 XT. I use this headset every day for my work. I've been really impressed with the noise-canceling mic and the audio quality of this headset. After going through the radio setup, I did a short video using the C400 as my recording microphone so you can get a sense for the audio quality and the noise canceling capability with this setup. Let's get started. This is the Blue Parrot C400 XT uh, Bluetooth headset. I happen to have this headset because I use it a lot for work. I'm on quite a few conference calls and different kinds of video conferences, actually even before last year when uh, the whole COVID thing started, I was on phone calls quite a bit. So I use a Bluetooth headset pretty much every day for my day job. Before the 705, ICOM had several radios that supported Bluetooth headsets, some of them with an optional module, but the earlier radios required that you use an ICOM Bluetooth headset in order to pair it with the radio and use it as a microphone. The beauty of the 705 is that it will work with any headset at all, uh, and it works quite well. Let's get into the Bluetooth menu and we'll see how we pair this headset. Give me one second to put the headset on because I need to hear what's going on in the headphones. Or I should say in the earpiece. So the Bluetooth menu on the 705 you get to by pressing the menu button and then we're going to press set and set is accessible on either the first or the second page of the menu screen and it's the same set on both pages and the Bluetooth settings are on the third page we'll go all the way to the top here so you can see so the top of the third page is the Bluetooth settings so we'll tap Bluetooth and then you have a couple settings here that are just Bluetooth on and off is the top one that turns the Bluetooth radio off, so if you're not using the Bluetooth function and you are out on battery power, that will save you a little bit of battery. So you probably do want to turn this off if you're not using it. Obviously, we need it on right now. Auto Connect is also on and off, and this is once you have a headset or some other device paired. If the 705 sees the paired device turn on, it will automatically connect to it, and we're going to leave that on as well. The next function is pairing and connect, and that's what we're going to do right now. And then pairing reception is if you want the 705 to go into pairing mode and wait for some other device like your laptop or some other computer to pair to it. So I'll just show you that really quick. If you hit that, it goes into pairing mode and it's waiting for another device to ask it to pair as a as a master device so the 705 would be a slave device so we'll cancel out of that so we're gonna go into pairing and then I'm gonna put my headset into pairing mode here so bear with me one second okay my headset is in pair mode so I'm gonna say search for a headset and it's searching. Hopefully it'll find it. There we go. You see it came up there. So we're going to cancel the searching and then I'm going to tap the headset and I'm going to say, yes, I want to connect. And I just heard uh, connected. So it is connected. And let's go back now. And I'm hearing that beep in my headset. Uh, you should also be hearing it through the speaker. And we'll go down to the next page of menus and we'll show you how that can be set up. So here we have headset set. And if I tap that, 
we have several choices here. So AF output, audio frequency output, is set to headset and speaker. So you can hear it in the speaker, and I'm hearing it in the headset as well. So this depends if you want people around you to be able to hear what's going on on the radio. If you're trying not to disturb people, you can just set that to headset only. And if I just back out here, you'll notice you don't hear the beeps anymore. I am still hearing them in the headset. So let me go back to headset and speaker for now. Okay, auto disconnect. This is if there is a certain amount of time of inactivity, do you want it to automatically disconnect? I wouldn't recommend using this. Maybe it saves the battery a little because the headset and the radio aren't pinging each other constantly. But the problem with that is if it disconnects on idle, it has to continually keep reconnecting to the headset every time audio comes on. And depending on your headset, you may have to turn the headset off and back on and get it to repair because I've had some Bluetooth headsets are a little bit flaky with the auto disconnect and reconnect. So I'm going to leave that off, but you could set that if you want to save a little bit of battery power. Headset function select. So we have normal, microphone, and push to talk. Normal, I believe, is for an ICOM headset. I don't have an ICOM headset, so I haven't played with that function. But I think in that mode, it will use the headset both for microphone and push-to-talk functions. I have a standard Bluetooth headset here, so I don't have a push-to-talk feature on the headset. So I've got this set to microphone. And then you also could set it to push-to-talk only, where you would use the hand mic or some other audio source and you would use your headphones or headset just as the push to talk function only so for now we've got it set to microphone because that's what i'm using this one for and then finally the last menu item here icom headset these are some functions specific to the icom headset so power save one touch push to talk that, I'm assuming that's a push-to-talk lock function. Again, I don't know. Push-to-talk beep, custom key beep, and then there's a custom key. So there are a couple other buttons on the ICOM headset. I think you can set frequencies or you know use it as up, down, and a few other functions. So that's it for the settings. Uh, my radio is now connected to my headset. I'm hearing all of this, and you will see we've got the Bluetooth symbol up in the upper part of the display here showing that the radio is now connected to a Bluetooth device. Let's see if we can make a contact with somebody and get a little audio check here and see how this is working. We have... All right, so this is a my D-Star hotspot. Let me turn that down for the moment. And... We can use the microphone <clears throat> as the push-to-talk function, but it's not going to be taking audio from the mic. It's going to be taking audio from my headset. So if we get a moment here, maybe we'll break in and see if we can get a uh, signal report. WA2 India Victor Delta. Go ahead, WA2. Yeah, good afternoon, guys. Uh, it's uh, WA2 India Victor Delta. Name here is Tom, and. Uh, Sorry for the break-in, but just looking for a quick audio check. I'm uh, just setting up a Bluetooth headset here on my IC705 and wanted to see how the audio sounds. Uh, this is Cam Zero ATS. You sound good. You're coming in uh, long and uh, clear. Okay, perfect. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, 
kind of a nice uh, function on the 705 here that uh, you don't have to use a an ICOM headset. You can use one, but uh, it looks like it supports any audio headset. I'm just using a Blue Parrot here that I use for work normally and uh, wanted to try getting it set up. Seems to be working pretty good. And uh, I can hear everything in the headset just fine. Just wanted to make sure the audio out was going good. And... Um, just uh, reading the mail a bit there about uh, where you guys are at. We're located in uh, Kansas and kind of have a cold winter day here as well. No snow on the ground. Most of that's melted. We had some a couple of weeks ago, but finally that's all melted off. Won't hold it here, fellas. Appreciate the uh, signal check, and we'll catch you again sometime soon. WA2IVD. There you have it. Setting up the Bluetooth headset to work with a 705 is pretty straightforward and pretty simple and seems to work with a standard uh, smartphone headset or you know, any audio headset. The audio that I'm hearing in the earpiece is very good and clear. Obviously, I can't demonstrate that to you very well on the video here, but the uh, outgoing audio, apparently they're saying it's good. So that's all we have. It's a little bit difficult to talk about uh, noise canceling on a microphone and audio quality and explain what that sounds like. So what I'm doing here is I've got the uh, Blue Parrot microphone actually paired with my laptop. I'm just recording some audio that you can see here on Audacity, and that's what you're listening to. I've actually got a radio, um, oh, about three feet from me with WWV playing on the radio. I'll stop talking here in a minute so you can hear what the noise canceling sounds like. Okay, that's with the radio playing at moderately low volume. Actually, I've got a D-Star reflector on here as well. I'm gonna turn the radio up so that it's actually fairly loud here. All right, that was the uh, beep and the time announcement. Now I'm talking over that. The radio volume is actually uncomfortably loud for me sitting here. So it's quite loud and about three feet away, as I said. And you can see what you're hearing. I guess you can hear what you're hearing through this uh, microphone. So the noise canceling actually works quite well. Let me turn this back down now because it's driving me nuts. All right, so there's a demonstration of how this sounds, and you can get a sense for the audio quality and for how well the noise canceling works. Hopefully that gave you a sense for what the microphone sounds like. It doesn't quite have the fidelity of a recording mic, but it's pretty good for communication. I don't have any association with Blue Parrot. It's just been one of the better Bluetooth headsets that I've used. I believe they're very popular with truckers. I frequently see them for sale at truck stops. There is a link for this headset in the description if you're interested. That's all we're going to cover this time. If you liked this video or you found it useful, I'd appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. You can also click on the bell icon to get notified when new videos come out. I'm always happy to see corrections, suggestions, or any other comments that you may have. Check out the companion website for the channel at a to z tech. You'll find a link for that in the description as well. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke. <laughs>